Thank you, Mother Mary. We're back. Yeah, we're Jesus back. Jesus 911. Yeah, with Jesse and Anita. We're talking about the four R's of self-deliverance. Mm-hmm. Uh, 90% of people that are delivered from demons, 90% of it is self-deliverance. Father Ripperger and his team, uh, that's exactly what they say. They, they've been seeing that for 15 years. Yes. It's going to require a person to repent, renounce, rebuke the sin and then resist it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So we're on the second phase on renouncing. Father Levin's Lampert, who's also an exorcist, said the increase in demonic activity is not merely because the devil has upped his game, but also because more people are willing to play his game today Mm -hmm. through activities that are opening up doorways to evil in their lives. To show you where this whole thing about renouncing comes from, it's built right into the liturgy. Mm -hmm. At least once a year, Catholics, Catholic Christians reaffirm our baptismal promises during Holy Easter, Holy Mass at Easter. We stand and the priest asks us what? The priest asks us, do you reject Satan and all his works? What do we do? I do. I do. Do you reject sin as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I I do. Do Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I I do. do. There's also short forms of renunciation prayers uh, written by other exorcists. Here's one. Here's a a common one Mm -hmm. written by several exorcists. Yeah, it says, in the powerful name name of Jesus, I renounce any occult spirits picked up through occult practices that continue to harm and control me. I refuse to live under their power any longer. Come, most sovereign mistress of the most of the holy angels and mistress of the most holy rosary. Thou who from the very beginning has received from God the power and the mission to crush the head of Satan, command the evil spirits to go directly to the foot of the cross, to be judged and to and sentenced by our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That's, that's, a, that's a, powerful. I yeah. love that. So that, again, that's just a, a, a typical renunciation prayer written by mm-hmm. Catholic exorcists yes. available to all. It's in my book, by the way, that one. Yeah. Lord, prepare my hands for battle. You can go to my website. You can pick it up, jesseromero.com, jesseromero.com. And that's uh, on page 78. Yeah. So <laughs> when you feel the presence of evil around your surroundings, you should take authority in Jesus' name. By rebuking the evil spirit verbally and with conviction, a prayer of rebuke can deliver you from most obsessive disordered thoughts and fear, which most likely have demonic origins. Why do I say that? Remember, our blessed Lord used the prayer of rebuke Mm -hmm. in Matthew chapter 4, verses 10 to 11. Mm -hmm. He said, get away, Satan. It is written, the Lord your God shall you worship and him alone shall you serve. Close quote. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. In fact, there's a very famous Russian saint. His name is Saint Theophan the Recluse. He's a 19th century spiritual master in, 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 in the Orthodox Church. He said this, quote, When bad thoughts come, you avert your mind's eye from them. Turn to the Lord and cast them out in his name. It's exactly what Mm. we just said right now. Yeah. There's another example of a prayer rebuke in my book. Yeah, there's a prayer rebuke. It's a short one. Yes, it's, In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of violence, or lust, or drunkenness, or mockery, or... Or name, or just you just name the vice that is present at this place, evil spirit. I rebuke you in Jesus' mighty, holy, precious name. Be gone to the foot of the cross that our Lord may do with you as he wills. So prayers of rebuke are usually spontaneous prayers. Uh, the format is rebuke the evil spirit, order it to leave your presence in Jesus' name, power and authority. Remember, that's the key. Yeah. You know, asking and, and, Jesus to remove it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that has to be included. That's the key. It has to be included. Yes. Absolutely. And and again, you have, again, Father Chad Ripperger teaches, mm-hmm. every human baptized person has the power. You have a 100% authority to deliver yourself from an evil spirit mm-hmm. in relation to yourself. A 100% authority to in relation to yourself to deliver yourself from an evil spirit again but mm-hmm. you have to pray you just can't like wish it away mm-hmm. you have to repent you have to renounce you have to rebuke mm-hmm. then we move into the last phase okay so it's repenting of our sin again you can't get the confession you renounce the sin you the, you rebuke that evil spirit and that sin attached mm-hmm. to that evil spirit now we go into the fourth ses- segment, which would be to resist. resist. And the two key verses on spiritual warfare that give us answers and hope are 
What are they? For, if you find you find them in Scripture, First Peter five uh, eight to nine. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm him in your faith, knowing that the same experience of suffering is required of your brotherhood throughout the world. Okay, this is important here yes. because a lot of people say, I can't. I, it's I know too it's too hard. hard. <laughs> I don't have the strength. Uh, that's, that's not true. The Bible just said mm-hmm. in ver- 1 Peter 5, 9, resist him. Him, mm-hmm. the pronoun is the devil from verse 8. So the Bible says that you have the power to resist the devil. So when somebody says, I can't, mm-hmm. but I'm too, it's too hard. What they, about they, fortitude? Yeah, they just, they, <laughs> they don't want to do it. They're not serious about yeah. d- self-deliverance. No, they're, 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 they're not serious. They're not serious. They don't want to get healed. Yeah. Yeah. And sobriety, what does it say? Sobriety is the first and necessary step to protect yourself against the devil. A person who lives a life of intoxication is powerless against the devil. Intoxication destroys the budding seas of the interior life. Well, yeah, that's why in, oh, ver- yeah. in, in verse 8, mm-hmm. St. Peter yes, said the first thing, be sober. sober. Yep. If you want to deliver yourself from an evil spirit and you live a life of intoxication, impossible. Evil right. spirits are attracted to drunks and people that are intoxicated. Yeah. You're never going to deliver yourself. You have to live a complete life of sobriety. Yeah, right. There's another verse that talks about the power to resist the devil. Yeah, another one. It says uh, in James chapter 4, verse 6 to 7, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. There you so go. So there's two verses that it's tell verses. us we have the power to resist the devil. devil. So when somebody says, I can't resist the devil, you're, you're lying. Not right. It's okay? in scripture. It's, yeah. <laughs> you're just like, you're, you're calling God a liar. Right. God says Absolutely. we have the power to resist mm-hmm. them. And you're saying, I don't. You're lying. God is telling the truth. Yep. And so notice, uh, we can resist the devil because we have free will. We are not robots with a, de- a determinist deterministic behavior that we have been programmed to follow. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's, that's that's Darwinism. Yeah, that's right. secular humanist, yes. you know, yes. uh cycle babble. It's the act of the will, act of the will right yeah. here. <laughs> yes. Stop thinking this way from yeah, your waist from down. From waist down. Yeah. So, after you repent and renounce you still have to clean the house. Yes, still the, have the to clean it. The mm-hmm. devil's not going to simply walk out quietly. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to run. You're going to have to run him out in Jesus' name. Again, the Bible says, "Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will mm-hmm. flee from you." My wife just she just quoted it. Yeah. If you don't resist the devil, he's not going anywhere. Mm-mm. If you try to resist the devil with unconfessed sin in your heart, mm-hmm. he will laugh in your face and make a mockery of you. Therefore, so let's go through this. We must repent, repent. number one. Number two, renounce. renounce and actually, and, and number three, resist. Re- rebuke. rebuke. rebuke, And then number four, resist. resist. Yeah. Resistance against demonic attacks requires a strong sacramental mm-hmm. prayer life, which includes deliverance and healing prayers like the Exilium Crystal Norm every yes, single night, night for the rest of your That's life. That's what we do, Jesse and I do at night. Yeah. So what, once, let's just say once now you return to a life in a state of grace, you're now in a mm-hmm. state of grace, we would call that now you're renewed, as St. Mm-hmm. Paul says, the mind is renewed. So once you're in a state of grace, again, that means your mind is, your, your spirit and your mind are renewed in Christ. Mm-hmm. That means we must change our minds and think like Christians 24 hours a day. Seven days a week, a hundred percent of the time. time. What does the Bible say about this? Yeah, in Ephesians uh, chapter four, verse twenty-three to twenty-four, it says, "And be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and put on the new nature, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness." What's that? Metanoia. Yeah. Changing of the mind. Yes. Once you change the mind, yes. now you can change the behavior because, yes. again, the mind is going to dictate how you're going to act, the act right. of the will. Mm-hmm. But it starts from here. This is the, I mean, this There's is... There's a battle. Yeah. The battle's the battle in the of mind. the mind. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. With anything. Yes. It could be it all, with illness. It always with starts with in everything. the mind. It starts in it the mind. It starts in the mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And St. Paul also says something else about yeah, the mind. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2, it says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. There's, there's a renewal of your mind. 
So we all face a choice. We can walk away from God, serve the devil, or we can be filled with the Holy Spirit and reject the devil. When the Bible says, be filled with the Spirit, that's, you can see that in yeah, Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verse 18. This means that the Lord totally possesses our body and soul. There is not one room that he doesn't have the key to. So remember, number one, repent. Number two, renounce. renounce. Number three, resist. Number four, renew our steps to breaking Satan's strongholds in your life. Yes. Don't try to repent until you're honest and face your sin. Don't renounce until you've repented. Don't try to resist <laughs> until you've re- repented and renounced. Yep. All these lead to a renewed mind, which means you have turned your back to Satan and to the glamour of evil and now walk by the Holy Spirit. And this is a standard for all Christians, by the way. Yeah. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 17 uh, and 22 to 25, it says, But I say, walk by the Spirit and do not gratify the de- desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to prevent you from doing what you would. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Thank you, St. Paul. Yes. The the Holy Spirit (laughs) gives us the grace to walk in obedience. Yes. If one does not have internal law, the Holy Spirit, one will never be able to to obey external law, man's law. Mm -hmm. 